All right, guys, it's me, Albert, down here at Reed again. I'm gonna go through a real quick uh, tape on how to check your accumulator off your swing gauge. So I've seen a lot of comments on Facebook of people questioning how to do it and other things like that. So again, a real quick video on how to check it. So this machine is good. Uh, we're running it currently, so what we're gonna do is, it's always a good idea to check it though with warm oil because with warm oil, you get better response time on your gauges. So again, you're gonna start your engine which is gonna happen is you're gonna clear e-stop. You're gonna see that gauge jump to about a thousand and then finish going up. And then when you honk the horn, I'm oh, sorry, when you clear east, when you dump e-stop by tripping e-stop, you're gonna see it bleed slowly, slowly, slowly. And right around 800 to 1200, it should drop quickly. It's not a precise reading, but it is a get you in the ballpark. So you'll know if you're at 300 PSI or the thousand you're supposed to be at. So this is how it goes, guys. Watch this gauge right here, the swing gauge. See that how when I honked the horn, it jumped to a thousand, finished charging at two, and then when I dropped e stop, it bled uh, slowly to about a thousand ish and then dropped quickly. That means your accumulator is about a thousand psi, which is what we set it at. Now, this machine, um, I actually bled the accumulator that way there's no nitrogen, that way you actually can see what it looks like when it is not properly charged. This is again zero nitrogen in your system, so this would give you an idea of what you'd be looking for on your gauges based off of um, when your accumulator is acting up. So did you notice how it jumped real quick to 2000, bled, jumped, I mean, it just came on back and forth, and then when I dropped the e-stop, it just went nothing. That means the accumulator is at zero. So like I said, this is a quick, easy way to check the accumulator pressure without having to drag your pump all the way to a pump shop to check it. So this is, like, again, uh, it's a quick, quick read. It's not precise. You're not gonna get dead at anything, but this way you don't have to drag it anywhere. And remember, you accumulator, you guys, without it, you could destroy wear parts, cups. It, it could do damage to your pump. So always keep it in mind where your accumulator is at set. Till next time, you guys.